Brent. No one can see. Oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Test. Testing. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Wildest Crypto Show Daily Update, brought to you by Drive America and Omega, the good guys in auto and home warranties. And, folks, let me tell you something. If you have an auto and if you have a home, you need both of the products. And if you don't do it, you're going to be wishing you did at some point in the not too distant future. Oh, yes. Oh, Brent, yes. what are our market? You're well, not wearing tell, proper colors. Uh, well, today. yeah, we're Easter eggs today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those kind of days. I think the only thing up is. Uh, Crude and um, Theta. Okay, there, there's your report. There you go. <laughs> Not off too bad on the crypto side. Uh, Bitcoin's down 0.77%. That's $319. Look at the chart, and you can see uh, not doing too bad there. We've held through that little bit of a down move. I'd like to see it go ahead and start slowly moving its way up there, back over closer to 44. It'll hit that Bollinger Band, and let's start to drive it up and see if we can get the next wave going. $1.85 trillion on the overall market. Dow's down a percent. S&P's down 1.5%, basically down 2 on the NDX, 2.7 on the Russell. Uh, look at gold. It's off 6 bucks. That's at 1951. Uh, silver is off $0.52. Cents. Uh, which is 2%. Gold was off 0.3%. And look at that, that crude. It's 104.76. Uh, futures doing what you kind of would expect. The uh, far doing a little bit better than the near. Um, or excuse me, near doing better than the far. Uh, Ethereum's off 64.34. 38 cents down on uh, Link. Cardano's down a penny and a half. 48 cents down on Polkadot. Litecoin's down 383. And, you know, all of these are down one and a half, two, two and a half, so on and so forth. XRP's down 1.8. XLM's down 1.7. Theta, the Theta is up 5.37, uh, bucking the trend. Hex is off 1.12, and Carnomaly's off 1.08. And then in the dog wars, you got Doge down 2.6. Oh, right here at the last, oh, 2.66. And Shib goes ahead and takes the tape. No, wait. Now Doge is 2.79. We got a horse it's a race nose. here. It's a nose. Yes, it's it's a dog by a nose. <laughs> Basically, they're both down about two and a half to two and three quarters. Well, what is it? You want the dog's nose to be cold? That means they're healthy? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good Good deal. So I, I, I always, I did that same test with girlfriends in high school. If her nose was cold, we were okay. Oh, I thought it meant if the nose was cold, she was the dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I was just curious, man. That Ron White says that. Zoom, zoom. Oh, boy. <laughs> we, yeah. we just went down the trail, didn't we? <laughs> so Ron White says that. He says, you know, if you go down to the beach, because they say if you pick up a seashell, uh -huh. You can hear the ocean. He said, right. you go down to the beach and you pick up a girl who has a seashell bikini on, you put her up to your ear, you will hear her scream. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so kind of, yeah. <laughs> hey, so folks, and, and you know, it tends to be good news in this. We continue to talk about the embracing of crypto technologies and blockchain and everything else, NFTs through all these different machinations by most of the rest of the world, almost all the rest oh, of yes. the world, except the United States of America, which is used to be the leader of the free world and now I don't know, it's a, I don't know, it's a leader of the I, regulation. I anyway, world. yeah, there's some, but anyway, listen to this, a panel of 35 FinTech and crypto experts expect Bitcoin highs of 81,680. They do expect it to drop to 65,000. And that's kind of a consortium of all those guys. That's a consensus. And then they're saying that they believe by 2025, it'll be 179,000. And then by 2030, it'll be 420,000. So folks, let me tell you where it is today at about 41,000. It, that's a retirement plan if you yeah. go out there and get one of those. Yeah. Now, they could be wrong because you get to the second page and this other dude goes out there and says it's going to fall because it's going to get passed by other things. So bottom line is, here's the answer to that, no one knows. <laughs> no one knows. Yeah. You know, we got a, a viewer that uh, requested some information yes. about uh, crypto in their IRA. So let me let me take a little segue here real you quick. You bet. Now, one reason you want to have a crypto in your IRA is the IRA basically is kind of an umbrella over your investment so that taxes don't rain down on it. And so uh, depending on the type of IRA, uh, what it accumulates underneath there, then when you go to distribute it out and take it out, that's when you pay taxes. So you get all the growth compounding unless it's a Roth IRA and then it's completely the reverse. You pay taxes going in and no taxes coming out, which also makes for a great opportunity. You know, um, in fact, one of our one of our things on the show we were talking about is uh, 
Um, With Jonathan. I trust Capital, and they have, a, <coughs> they have a great IRA program. The thing you have to realize about a crypto IRA, there are multiple ways to do it. You can set up an LLC, have it over here in the LLC. The LLC reports to your third-party administrator who reports to the IRS giving valuation and you operate it through here. You got others like uh, I trust where they've got a cold storage wallet. You get away from the keys, you get away from the management and, and you invest with them in a more traditional manner. And, and I do not quite know whether they actually act as custodian as well, or whether they use that and, and you have a custodian on top of it. The key to all of it is understand what you're doing and, and watch your fees. Uh, because what you don't want to do is have all kinds of fee structure into the deal that makes it less palatable uh, than otherwise. And so if you got any other questions about that, or if I didn't cover the specific question you had, just uh, email it in and we'll be glad to answer it. Maybe even answer it off camera. Yeah, you bet. And, and folks, the key to this whole thing is, and the financial people, the financial planners and everything else are seeing this, you need to be diversified oh. to a degree in this new digital market space. And those of y'all, had you done it when we first started telling you that, you'd be far better off today. But folks, it's still early, oh, early oh, yeah. in this new technology and emerging money. So uh, now they're making it easier and easier sure. to get in. So you have less excuses. When we first got in, we had excuses. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. I've, I've been, I started doing self-directed IRA work in the early nineties, mid nineties, yeah. I guess. In fact, the wall street journal tried to interview me uh, through a third party administrator back in around 2002 or whatever. And I, I didn't want my picture with dots on it. And so, um, you know, it, it's a long standing uh, process you know, it is legit, but you do have to kind of make sure that you're you're getting your crypto exposed correctly and that all your tax laws are being taken care of. You bet. So, folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again tomorrow on the Wild West Crypto Show.